Hello again guys, if you've watched part 1, welcome back and thanks for continuing to watch. This part kind of covers iMovie and Final Cut Pro and my final thoughts on the whole stuff, on, on all of it. Um, if you're seeing part 2 and you haven't watched part 1, go back and watch part 1 uh, where I talk about Camtasia and ScreenFlow. And there's a bit of iMovie and Final Cut Pro comments in there as well, so check that out. Um, but this is the continuation part 2 of the overall screencasting slash video editing uh, video. So thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. All the common features are there, um, graphical transitions and all that. So. I'll go over to iMovie first of all. Now this is my this is my go-to software for uh, editing. Um, a because it's cheap. B because it just works. Um, you have a timeline at the bottom. I've got some intro and outro stock. And, uh, you know what you've seen on my videos. You just double click it. Oops, I think I put it in twice there. I click the click the plus and it drops it in there. And it adds some beginning and ending stuff, which is kind of annoying, but uh, that's not for this video, this sort of automatic content. Um, so I can add my intro and outro stuff. And that's one of the things that um, would be difficult to do as well in Camtasia and ScreenFlow is I'd have to import my intro and outro every single time, which is a pain in the neck, rather than just pulling from a stock of all my, my video there. So I can do this, and I've got my video there. And uh, you know it plays fairly decently on my computer. It just works for what it is. And you have all your options, obviously, uh, for audio. You can add the short audio clips. Um, and you can try them out before you put them in. And you got your titles. Um, you know, you can put in your transitions uh, over here. These are all tabs. So this is iMovie 10.1 right now. Um, you've got pretty much all the transitions, a lot of them anyways, that are in Final Cut. Um, you know, you've seen them all before. Um, you got your backgrounds. Um, I don't use the backgrounds too much myself. And yeah, the, the My Media tab is really kind of what I stick on and, uh, you know, for the most stuff that I do. And then in terms of video editing, wait for this thing to uh, stop creating the world map here. All right. So yeah, you've got your, your titles and uh, obviously your video. And so for video um, editing, you've got some features up here for some sound and you, you know, you've got your cropping um, and all that. And I can uh, just give you a quick example there so I can crop it. Go on a little slow because my I've got Final Cut Pro open as well. So you can cut that down. And then obviously you can uh, increase and decrease the speed of things, right? All, all the stuff that you can do on the other editors. Um, so that's all fine. So what I want to then take you to look at is Final Cut Pro, which is obviously is, is kind of the one. I um, just want to make sure my screencast o is caught up with me. It's chugging away there. Um, Final Cut Pro is obviously the software to have um, if you're any kind of a professional. If you're, if you're making money off this thing, um, Final Cut Pro is kind of the top of the line software. One thing to note is that to me it looks very similar to iMovie, and that's probably what they are going for. Um, so I'll go here's iMovie here, and here's Final Cut Pro. So you've got your uh, media up in the left hand corner, you've got your video in the middle, you've got some of your adjustments, your effects, and stuff on the right hand side. And then similar to iMovie, and especially the older iMovie, you've got um, uh, spots for uh, music and transitions, uh, text, uh, all this kind of stuff, your settings, which are kind of nice. And you've got some advanced features for inserting videos, and you've got your timeline in the bottom. So this is all kind of standard stuff. Um, so all that all just works, right? Frame or not, and that's kind of two. And you can you can split at playhead and uh, add your transitions. The uh, let me just go to, over to transitions. See on the, see on the bottom right here all the all the various transitions they got. There are more transitions. To me, Final Cut Pro is like uh, iMovie on steroids. But actually, I'm, I've been looking at the features and for the stuff that I use, um, it, iMovie pretty much has all the stuff that I use. I do very minor uh, layering. Uh, iMovie does do green screen. If you pull in, let's see, if you pull in another image, you can do uh, image uh, 
you can do side by side images. Let me just uh, drag an image in here. And then, so you can do cutaway, or you can do uh, side by side, or you can even do the, the green screen. Um, so this is where you would uh, put uh, another video, for example, of my head against a chroma background, and you would paste that over top. So it does a pretty decent, um, uh, you know, green screen. It has the ability anyways there to do it. Um, press play on that, you can see. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you have all the functionality. Um, so you don't need to step up to Final Cut Pro for green screen stuff. Now, what I need is both video editing on the one hand, and I need screencasting on the other hand. Now, iMovie and Final Cut Pro don't do screencasting. They, they will not um, uh, record your screen and the webcam at the same time. iMovie will record a video with your webcam. It will uh, start recording it and import that video. Um, but it won't record your desktop. So for screencasting, you need to be recording both at the same time, and so you really need some other software, and that's what I have screencasting on for. Now, because all the item, all the options are the same, you got your transitions, but with Final Cut Pro, you have a few more transitions. You've got uh, some songs, but with Final Cut Pro, you can get uh, add-ons to add a whole bunch of other kind of royalty-free songs and, and jingles and whatever. You've got your media library, and you, you can obviously layer videos on top of layer uh, on top of videos here. You can do, um, I think, effectively in iMovie, you can do um, two layers. So there's kind of two rows where you can do videos or movies. Um, let me just, uh, I'll drag this one out, see if I can uh, drag out the timeline so that you can visually see it there. Is it going to work? It's not letting me do it. All right, let me get another video here. And I'll just I'll just bring that over top, so I can actually plug that in over top, so I can do the side by side um, uh, screen, or I can do the cutaway. This is the cutaway. Obviously, I can do the picture in picture. You know, so these are fairly advanced effects that you can all do with iMovie. Um, and so if I you know play that, it's going to be pretty choppy, but it'll play both of them at the same time, obviously. All right, I'll stop that. So that works fine. So pros and cons. I, like I think Final Cut Pro is really iMovie on steroids. It does iMovie does everything that I would need it to. Um, it does some cutaway effects. It does uh, transitions. I would like to have more jingles, more kind of royalty-free jingles out of the box. And Final Cut would uh, do that. Final Cut would also you can also um, drag your media um, to another window. I'm actually not sure how to do it, but if you have multiple windows, you can actually do that. Uh, let me see if oh, I can make it. I can make it hide. Pretty sure I can uh, put this on another window as well. All right, maybe I, I won't worry about that. But anyways, I know um, by watching. Um, IMNC. Uh, I don't know if you watch him. Or, uh, Google IMNC uh, or YouTube, it I guess. And uh, so he has actually three monitors where he has all his media on one monitor to the right hand side. Uh, so you can go up, look at that screen, you can see all your thumbnails of your media. And then on the main window, you can see your timeline. So you can really get a cleaner view. Uh, that feature I like. So there's some advanced features that definitely are, are kind of cool to have. But here's where the difference is. Um, Final Cut Pro costs $350 Canadian, whereas uh, iMovie right now on the App Store is $17. Now, it may be a little more expensive than that if you don't already have iMovie, but I mean, you can do pretty much the same thing. Now, with iMovie, you can queue up your videos. So you can make a video, you export it to YouTube, and they both, they all do YouTube, they do Vimeo, they export all the same stuff. iMovie does that. 
Um, it'll iMovie queues it up, so it'll uh, send it off into the uh, top right hand corner, uh, start processing it, and then you can you can work on the next video and process that, and then we we'll start working on the next video. So I really like the processing flow. And that was a big jump over the original iMovie uh, or the older version of the iMovie uh, that was on my 2006 MacBook uh, uh, White Edition or whatever. So Final Cut Pro is a big jump, you know, from 17 to 350 dollars for the features, you know, there are pretty cool features, but I can't do my screen casting with it, so I can't kind of combine those costs, consolidate those costs. If it kind of did screen casting with webcam all at the same time, then I could uh, sort of combine, consolidate all my expenses and just buy one massive piece of software that was really awesome. Um, but for what I do, um, I kind of need a screen casting, dedicated screen casting software and dedicated proper video editing software. So at this point in time, I have to, um, I pretty much, much got to recommend iMovie. I mean, it's just dirt cheap, all things considered. For the amount of stuff that you can get, like, and I haven't really had any um, limitations to it. Sure, there are some, probably some effects with annotations and stuff that I could do better uh, in Final Cut, and there's more import-export features. But I'm not a pro user of it, really. I'm kind of a prosumer sort of user so iMovie really does what I need and because it's simple it does what I need fairly quickly and all my uh, videos are, are sort of standardized I've got an intro and intro um, I would like the feature to um, automatically stamp intro and outro and remember that for every video I make so I don't have to drag it in each time but I don't even know if you can do that in Final Cut um, I would like some more jingles um, iMovie comes with kind of a base set of jingles, which are, you know, and you, you overuse them real quick, but they are what they are. So they just work. Um, and like I say, it'll export to uh, YouTube as 720p, 480, whatever you want, 1080. It does a lot. I really see no limitations. Um, unless I wanted some real horsepower, um, I don't see a need for going to anything other than iMovie. In terms of Camtasia and ScreenFlow, I mean, right now, the only feature that I really want from them that I don't have in Screencast-O-Matic is the ability to uh, green screen. And maybe that'll come, but uh, again, for the price of Screencast-O-Matic at $15 versus, um, you know, $120, $140, just for the privilege of the green screen option, it's not worth it to me. If I really need the green screen, I can record an iMovie and uh, do the green screen effect there and uh, do some other things. Uh, I don't know how I would, I guess I could use another uh, camera to record my uh, screen or something while I was chatting. Um, or even, yeah, I could even use my Garmin uh, Verb sitting here to uh, be my webcam and kind of record video and then just synchronize it post -process processing. So I could do it there. I have options. I just can't reconcile you know, the $15 for Screencast-O-Matic, which I'm using right now, which uh, records both and really dumbs down my videos, really simplifies them, and the $17 of iMovie to, to step up to something else that has, it does have more transitions, more features, more options for uh, color correction, more export options. Um, I use kind of the most popular stuff. So, again, for what I do, uh, uh, I'm going to recommend... For screencasting, unless you need some really advanced stuff, Screencast-O-Matic too. And I've done videos on it, uh, and it just works, and that's what I'm using to record this video right now, actually. Um, unless you really have a need for green screening uh, and screencasting, then you have to go to one of those other guys. But for the extra expense to, to get going with green screen, it's going to be $200 Canadian anyways. For pure video, video editing, Camtasia doesn't quite fit the bill to be kind of a cross between screencasting and the video editing. Um, iMovie just works, and the, the media bin is the kind of the biggest thing for me, I think. I just want to see all my me media in one place. I don't want to go importing it every single time. I just want to see a list of it. Now, sure, you can have a, a finder open with your video and just drag it in. But I don't want, I don't want extra windows. I just want it to show up. Uh, in the left-hand side, wherever it shows up, and just have it be there uh, when I need it. I think if I get money, extra money, that I don't need to spend on anything else, and I probably would upgrade to Final Cut and get some of the uh, royalty-free 
you know, uh, jing jingle packages and animation packages, and that would really take my videos to the next level. Uh, but at this point, I really, ha I probably haven't, um, I probably haven't reached uh, the maximum usage of iMovie even as it is. There's a lot more uh, intricate things I could be doing with it. So iMovie is very powerful for the for the money you pay for it. And um, I think it was very smart for Apple to do that because it really gets people hooked on Mac for one. Obviously you have more transitions and, and, and everything else on Final Cut Pro. Um, but again, um, you can do pretty much everything you want to uh, on iMovie, uh, you know, for the regular prosumer person, unless you have money to burn. So that's my, uh, I've been long-winded now, I probably cut this into two videos. Um, that was kind of our review, because I was looking for screencasting software and, and movie editing software all in one. And uh, at this point, it's not worth it for me to get, uh, pay money for software just for um, the fancy feature of green screen. Uh, and since I can do some green screen on iMovie, um, I, I can't do the, the screen casting stuff, which is the only time I use green screening probably. Because like I say, all my home study videos are outside with my verb anyways, and I don't need green screen for that. So I can do it. Um, I just, I haven't used it uh, before because, well, one is I don't have the proper equipment. Probably uh, when I get money in the future, I would like to move up to maybe a, I'd probably go with Camtasia. Um, it has some drawbacks, but uh, it uh, it looks uh, looks a bit more full featured to me, and maybe the options are a bit more intuitive, maybe a little bit. Um, people, some people might argue with me, but I might go with Camtasia in the future if I want to go ahead and spend three hundred, you know, two hundred dollars to get a proper uh, lighting system behind me. What I would absolutely love is for iMovie to be able to record. Um, the webcam and the screen at the same time. Now that would be a really slick add-on. And then I could use my iMovie for screencasting and all video editing, post-processing stuff, and that would do it all. And if if that feature is in Final Cut Pro, I don't I don't think it is. But man, if it, if all that was in Final Cut Pro, I'd probably splurge and get Final Cut Pro right now, because um, that would be the end all and be all of video editing applications. So for right now on my limited hardware. Um, iMovie is doing everything I need it for, and Screencast-O-Matic, while a little bit slow and definitely uh, less features, I really don't use all the features of Screencast-O-Matic either, so uh, it does what I need, and uh, you know, comparatively, the price is way, way cheaper. So uh, that's my plug for Screencast-O-Matic and uh, iMovie, and some quick overview uh, of them. ScreenFlow, Camtasia, about 120 140 iMovie about 17 bucks and Final Cut Pro $350 Canadian. So you can see some options there. Um, and it really depends what you're looking for. If you're never going to do screencasting, then who cares about ScreenFlow or Camtasia? All right, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, Final Cut Pro looks really awesome, but I don't have the money for it. And I think I'll stick with Screencast-O-Matic too. And uh, that is it. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you appreciate the video. Give me the thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, try and keep you posted if I get some new software in the future. Thanks for watching. Hey all, if you made it through uh, this whole 40 minute, the two part uh, series of the videos relating to Camtasia, ScreenFlow, uh, iMovie and uh, Final Cut Pro, you are awesome. That was a long video. Thanks for uh, sticking through it. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed that, if you found it useful in any uh, sort, and uh, comment uh, on it and let me know what you use and what you like. And if I said something wrong, please correct me. And give me the likes and the thumbs up and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, again, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.